Today on Expert Showcase, our guest is Christy Price, and she wants to know, are you single and tired of dating online? Christy, welcome to Expert Showcase. We're so happy to have you as our expert guest today. How are you? I'm great, Mark. Thanks for having me today. Cool. Well, I wanted to start off just by having you give us a quick little overview here to orient uh, our viewers as to what we're going to talk about in today's episode. Okay, Mark. Well, I do uh, personal coaching and matchmaking, and today we're going to talk about the world of online dating and how people are so frustrated with that, and try to give them some tips to go out on their own and basically be their own matchmaker. Excellent. Okay. And when we were prepping for the show, we promised uh, people that we were going to go through three important key keys to success for, for this dating world. And so we're going to talk first that first impressions and confidence are really critical. Then we're going to go over the fact that connecting with others and meeting new people is, is a big part of the equation. And then setting goals. So let's go through those in order and, uh, and uh, you can educate me a little bit more about this world that you live in. So talk to me about first impressions and confidence. When you're working with a client, um, what do you discuss in this area? What do you focus on? Well, the first thing we do before we even send them out on a date is basically go over style and image and how important first impressions are. Because first impressions, if you nail that, you've pretty much won half the battle. If you blow it, then people aren't even listening to what you're saying. Right. So we go through style. I have some image consultants people work with, so they're dressed appropriately for their date. Um, confidence, um, which includes also posture. So you want to walk in. You want to own the room. You mm -hmm. want to have a smile on your face, your chins up, and you want to be approachable to the, your date so that you know the conversation kind of just flows when you do start to have that conversation. Excellent. And so give me a sense of time. for uh, How long does it take to kind of work through this first part of the equation here before you're going to send them out into the real world? <laughs> um, it takes a little bit. Some people, if they're out in the professional world, they already have their style down, mm -hmm. so they know how to dress. Um, and there's also hygiene with men. Also with women, there's doing your makeup right and just um, basically the overall appearance is very important. So we work with that. And then posture and confidence mm -hmm. and um, being able to hold a conversation is part of that as well. So I guess it's, a, it's really on a case-by-case -case basis, right? You have to kind of assess this person, get to know them, figure out, you know, do we have a long way to go or are you almost ready? We just got to kind of brush up a few things and get you out the door here. Right. It might take one or two meetings or coaching sessions or it could take four or five. It just depends on the individual. And how do you like to work with people? Is, are, is this a virtual thing? Is this an in-person thing? What's, what's the nature of your practice? Uh, well, mostly for right now, um, we, sometimes they connect with me through virtual introductions or my website. But I like to meet with everybody in person or at least Skype with them. So I'm looking them in the eye. I do background checks on everyone I match make with. I want to make sure that we are compatible in terms of working together because you know, we're talking about a lot of personal things. So I try to meet with everyone one-on-one -on -one if possible. Okay, great. So now you've got them sort of in the mode of, you know, it's important to make that first impression. It's important, important to present yourself with confidence. So let's move on to phase two here. So this is all about connecting with others and meeting new people. What are we, what are we doing with your clients in this phase here? So with this phase, I try to help people just go out in everyday life and meet people. So after okay. we go through the confidence and the image and they've really nailed the, the first impressions, it's all about being able to strike up a conversation with anyone, whether you're at a coffee shop or you're at a singles event, and just being comfortable with that. So we go through how to do that. So example, maybe complimenting someone's jacket or um, something that they're, they're wearing. When you see them, it's a kind of a great opener. Everyone loves compliments. So we go through different strategies on how to meet people and strike up a conversation. I think that's excellent, Christy, because, I mean, you know, you're, you're sort of taking the skill set and taking away the pressure of the date, right, or the dating world, and you're really just giving people this opportunity to say, hey, well, these are skills that apply all over the place, not just in that world. So let's practice them in potentially benign situations where, you know, you don't feel that pressure of consequences, right? Uh, yeah, people miss so many opportunities throughout the day, and a lot of that is they're on their phone. 
So the first thing I teach people is be present in the moment. Mm. So put your phone away, look around, uh, see your surroundings. Maybe there's someone's interesting that you want to talk to. And especially during the day, people don't feel like they're being hit on. So mm. if you're in a coffee shop and you're talking about a muffin or something benign like that, people just, you're just having a conversation and it could roll into something even better. At least for nothing else, you might get a great friend out of it. Absolutely. You know, you, you raise a point that's so true and it's, it's just, it's such a recent phenomenon, but it's everywhere, right? I mean, no one takes their eye off their little screen anymore, right? I mean, you can be in public, but everyone's just kind of looking at their little, at their phone and not really interacting. It's pretty wild. Right. How many people do you see, even at a table together, aren't talking? They're just texting back and forth. I, I look around a restaurant these days, and I'm like, are they texting to each other across the, you know, is it like, pass me the salt? Uh, I don't know. I Sometimes I wonder. It's, just, it's an interesting <laughs> look. The art of conversation has kind of gone by the wayside for sure, and just connecting with people. So, and it's fun. If you take a fun approach and put your cell phone down, which I know is a little scary, we're all attached to it, and just try to have fun and talk to people. It, it can be a great, great asset to your day. Great. I, I've got to confess, I've I've caught myself doing that any number of times. If I, I'm in a situation where I feel uncomfortable, I, you know, I'll just pull that phone and just pretend to check my email. You know, it's it's a, it's a great safety blanket, but it's it's important to pry it loose from people's hands, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. Unless it's a neighbor next door that just wants to talk your ear off, then right, you can exactly. pull it back out. <laughs> right. right. Then, then you put the, the earphones in and you look, you look very, very tired, you know, very busy and focused. So let's move on to your third point, which, uh, you know, is about setting goals. So what kind of goals, what are you working with with your clients when it comes to this, this phase of the, uh, of the operation here? <laughs> well, there are two kind of sides to this. The one side is um, make a goal to meet one or two people every day. So... Um, which forces you to put your phone down and kind of have, you know, have a kind of a goal on how many people. If you meet two people every day, seven days a week, that's there have a lot more opportunities than than not doing that and just going online or just meeting one person here or there. So we try to really have a plan on how are we going to meet new people, where are we going to meet new people, um, and we get that kind of structured. And then the other side to that is to know what you want in a, in a soulmate or a partner. Soulmate I'm not so fond of, but partner. Um, so you want to kind of outline that. You know, do you have the same values? Um, do you want kids? Don't you want th kids? So you want to have that out and, and, and basically outlined ahead of time so you're not wasting time on the wrong people. Right. So have some criteria, uh, you know, in mind so that you're, you know, you're not so random about this, this whole process, right? And you're, you're yeah. allowed to, you're allowed to have criteria, right? I mean, it's exactly. <laughs> I mean, we have plans and goals for everything else, right? So if I'm at my, at my job and I think I'm going to become the CEO, I need to plan to get there. Right. And it's not going to just happen. People say love will just happen when you least expect it. Really? That happens in your career, and yeah. it doesn't happen that way. You have to plan but, ahead. My, my joke is always, you know, I suppose statistically it's possible that the pizza delivery guy is the, is the man of your dreams, but probably <laughs> not, you know. So if that's the most interaction you're having, perhaps you need to invite some other people to your living room or or get out of your house and go go engage a little bit, right? So or maybe that's a strategy to meet more people. And he's actually a CEO of a big company. There you go. That's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Probably not. He could, he could be like that under, that undercover boss guy who's just you know delivering pizza, but really he's he's the owner of the company, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's a little creepy, anyway. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, this is great, Christy. I mean, I think this is such a valuable service. Um, you know, in some ways, it sounds like ancient and old-fashioned, right? The idea of a matchmaker. I mean, I, I always think of something that happened. You know, a hundred or five or six hundred years ago even in, in some village but it's so critical in this day and age right because we have all these connection tools but we're not so good at connecting anymore and I, I think it's great to have somebody that you can you know work with who's going to help you give you some structure some guidance some focus and and take all you know a whole lot of that anxiety out of the equation right so yeah well, thank you. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. So we've been talking with Christy Price, and uh, you know the theme of our show today is Are You Single and Are You Tired of Dating Online? We've been covering the three you know, main things that we're covering today, first impressions and having that confident approach, you know, then really connecting with people, but not necessarily in that pressured situation of the date. It's 
everyday situations, striking up conversations, uh, meeting new people on a regular basis, and then setting some goals, some real structure to be kind of focused on this project, not random and hoping and, and wishing that, that something's going to magically happen. Well, Christy, I want to tell people how they can get in touch with you. Uh, obviously, your website sounds like a great place to do that. So people can go to christydprice.com. That's Christy with an I. I know it's on screen, but I'm just going to say that in case you're not looking at the screen, you're just listening. So Christy with an idprice.com and you've got a great offer for people there they can fill out a form on the website and you're giving away a 60 minute free coaching session as long as they just mention experts showcase so I really appreciate you doing that that's a great uh, a great honor for us so you know go over to christydprice.com right now fill out the form mention experts showcase Christy will give you a 60 minute free coaching session very generous of you. Well, it's been great to have you on the show as our expert today. Uh, you know, relationships are so key to so many facets of life, but certainly to our personal lives. So I, I think you have a lot to offer for people. I hope they take advantage of your offer. So thanks for being with us today, Christy. Well, thanks for having me, Mark. It's been fun. And another great expert showcase episode, Chris. What should people do right now? Yeah, if you're watching this and you're a coach or consultant, imagine what it would do for you and your business if you were a guest on Experts Showcase. And here's the best part. Other than, other than possibly increasing your business, an appearance on Experts Showcase is free. We give you a copy of your episode so you can use as marketing collateral, and we give you a, a coaching session to go along with it to, to tell you how you can best market your episode and other tips and tricks about your, your business. So what you want to do is head on over to expertshowcase.com, click on the big yellow apply button, and apply to be our next featured guest on the Expert Showcase. Now if you're a coach or consultant and you've already imagined what having your own internet talk show will do for you, then we want you to head to videocontent.agency and check us out, check our packages out, and get in contact with us. Let's see if we're a good fit, and let's see if we're the ones to produce you and make you the next star and have your own internet talk show. And until next time, uh, Mark, anything else? I couldn't have said it any better, so uh, just do what he said.